Everybody knows the Ada Public Library is chock full of books and periodicals, stacks and stacks of pages filled with the printed word. But that's not all the library has to offer. There's something completely different and more alive going on there as well, and it's something you don't want to miss. I'm on the road for five and a half weeks, and on this tour I got 23 gigs. 17 of them are libraries. That's the first thing I do, is call the libraries. It's just become this thing. First I start with the libraries, then I go on to other things. Other musicians say, well, we'll do, we'll look for auditoriums. When we can't find auditoriums, we'll go to house concerts. When we can't find house concerts, we'll see if we can be the lowest rung at the county fair. And if we can't do that, maybe we'll, but most of them don't even know the library. They look at me and say, you're playing where? Library? How's that happen? The Ada Public Library offers free live performances as part of its special programs in the summer. The entertainment options cover a wide variety of genres and features artists such as musicians, ventriloquists, comedians, and magicians. Some of the performances are designed for children, who may also participate in the library summer reading program. Well, it's really loose. I'll let you wiggle it a little. It's a loose tooth. I'm losing. Well, when I was a kid, there was a summer reading program, and so I knew about that. And um, from you know, from going myself, and when I started thinking, oh, this might be a career, I went to the librarian in Stillwater and volunteered to perform so that I could you know see if I wanted to do that. <laughs> and um, she, she let me perform and it went really well and so it kind of grew from there. That was just a, a good opportunity for me. I was in school so the libraries do their things in the summer. I was free then. Um, plus I do really love to read and I love to promote that to kids and so it was a good match for me. We're going to do a, a song next that tells a beautiful love story. I'm glad you're excited about that. Performances at the Ada Public Library are open to all ages, and some of the shows may appeal more directly to adults. If you play a variety of stuff, people say, well, we don't know how to market you. The library just puts out a sign saying, guitar player is going to play. People come, people don't come. You know, it's not, it's not like many thousands of dollars depend on people showing up and paying ticket money to get in. All right, so there is a certain liberality of programming that a library can do that a commercial entity can't because they're not trying to get 400 people to come in and see he's country, he's blues, he's rock, he's entertainment. They like to have stuff that's all over the place. It's a community. Many artists have experienced great success performing at the Ada Public Library, so much so that they return season after season, knowing there is always an appreciative crowd awaiting them in this community. I've been doing libraries for about uh, 21, this is my 21st summer, and most of those years I've been here at Ada um, to perform, and then I've also come during the school year occasionally to perform, so I've lost count of how many times I feel, I just feel at home in this room. It's like, here we are again in Ada, and it's great, the, the kids here are great, the audiences are always fantastic, and we have a good time, and I love coming back to Ada. <laughs> Me, it's inviting my way to share your day with a fellow human. How about this is my daughter, Evelyn. Uh, the year that she was born, we came here and the librarian gave her this, this monkey. Uh, this is purple monkey. And, and so every time we come to Ada, she has to bring a purple monkey. <laughs> it's kind of a tradition for us. Evelyn, what do you think about your dad's job? I think it's really cool because, like, I will be walking around at school and some kindergartner will come up to me. She's like, I know your dad. He signed my CD or he signed my shirt. <laughs> and it's just cool. She loves to hang out at libraries. <laughs> She's done it all her life. So during my show, she'll often go and find a book and, and that's maybe one that she can't find at home and sit down and read it. <laughs> A library is an important public service that cities can offer their residents, but they can also offer programs that can be fun and inspiring. These programs can also lead to further library exploration. There's a lot of different kinds of people in this community. There's all colors, there's all, there's all monetary classes, 
There's all education levels. There's different reasons people come. There might be some people that never come in the library. They just know that there's some free music and it's air conditioned. And so they'll be in here. It brings people together. Uh, it gives kids something fun to do. It promotes reading and literacy. Uh, and it's so important to, to get kids on board with that when they're young. Um, it, uh, it, it brings culture into the community. You have storytellers, you have musicians, you have all kinds of, of different acts that come through. And uh, I, I just, I could prattle on and on. Because it, it seems really important to me, of course, because it's my job, but. Uh, there are libraries everywhere you go. Most of them do not have the funding to put on uh, concert kind of stuff. But the ones that do seem to feel that it brings in a few people that might not come to a library otherwise, so it's going to get bodies in the door. I'm all in favor of getting people in the libraries.